So Sarah, who thank God has her pronouns in her bio because God knows what we would call someone named Sarah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing something really fun. We're actually going to be reacting to woke dating profiles. Now, everyone's always reacting to cringy woke content on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Not really seen any of these videos, so we're gonna try it out. Now, these are really bad, just a forewarning. And what I've learned from observing these is that dating in 2022 is a nightmare. I've never used a dating app to get into a relationship or find a boyfriend. I don't imagine it's that effective for that. I mean, I feel like it's all about hookups. Maybe I'm wrong. Interestingly, I think the majority of the boyfriends I've ever had I've found through video games, like online gaming. So today I'm gonna to educate myself on what exactly is going on with dating in this woke world. So this one's in a lesbian section. Keep in mind. So Clay, who is 30, wrote about Zimself. <laughs> Communist, no, I would have never guessed by the appearance. Um, Anti-imperialist, non-binary and bi, isn't that kind of contradictory? I mean, being bisexual denotes a binary, bi, so you're non-binary, but you're bisexual. Like, do you know what words mean? Like, I think you need to um, Google what sexualities you're claiming because this doesn't make sense. I work with teens at a mental hospital and I'm in grad school to be a therapist. Well, that's, that's kind of nice. Not a terrible person. The fact that you have to say that, I'm side-eyeing you, Clay. Mentally ill in a hot way. Wait, if, if you're mentally ill, why are you working with mentally ill people? That's like the blind leading the blind. I don't think you should have that job. Your dog will love me. Bella, come here, Bella. Let's see what Bella thinks. Do you like Clay? Do you like them? Okay. Next, I'm swiping left. Is it left or right? Is it left if you don't want them or right if you like them? I'm throwing you away entirely. You're not even getting swiped. So Sarah, who thank God has her pronouns in her bio because God knows what we would call someone named Sarah, says you should not go out with me if you're transphobic, racist, misogynistic, etc., Or if you're looking for a hookup. Shout out to you for being honest about not wanting a hookup and wanting a real relationship. I think that's admirable. However, as a general rule, when I'm having conversations with men or women or friends or whoever, it's like, I don't like opening with what I'm against. It's like, what are you for? Like, what do you support? What are you passionate about? Like, that's what I would look for in a dating profile. I know I'm taking this a little too seriously, but it's like, it's like you think you're writing something positive, but you're actually coming out negative. You're only talking about what you're against. And it's like, what's up with that? But you know, this is what CNN tells people should be their entire personality. So when you're an NPC and you don't have a brain for yourself, it's like, this is all your Tinder bio is going to consist of. Ab, who has her pronouns in her picture here, says she, her, three times vaccinated, anti-capitalist, and yet you literally started this bio with a free advertisement for Pfizer, but that's, you know, that's okay. Anti-white supremacy, anti-fascist, e &M is just cheating. What is E&M? Well, we're gonna Google this. Oh, ethical non-monogamy. Yeah, that is just cheating. How are you gonna have like one based take and a habit at the very end? Like Kayla says liberal BX misogyny makes me uncomfy, guacamole, pescatarian, the office jokes, black people are the best quote me, no such thing as straightness. What kind of planet? Jimmy's crazy to just live on. I like material things because capitalism and she put her cash app. I like how it always comes down to that. Like, just say you a hoe, girl. Like if this was me and I was using a dating app to advertise my cash app and just get money from dudes, I would literally just say, I'm a hoe, please give me money. Because at least that's honest, you know? I feel like this is literally like an AI created human being. Like this is literally just, I'm quirky, I like guacamole and I'm pescatarian. Something, something capitalism, something black, something straight, pay me. Like it's literally just an AI created human being. Amber says, you should not go out with me if you don't understand e &M. So that's ethical non-monogamy. I think people get it. They just know that you're just trying to be a whole, like, which is fine. Like. My whole thing is, if I'm with you, I'm not sharing you. 
And I damn sure don't want you to share me because if you're willing to share me, then you actually don't give a fuck about me. That's my mentality. Everyone's different. I get that it works for some people. It doesn't work for other people. However, ethical non-monogamy is literally just a band-aid over the word cheater. Like that's my opinion. If you kink shame, I mean, I guess that's relatively okay. Everyone's into what they're into. It's like, as long as it's not something super foul, then I probably won't shame you. But also I might if it's funny, like have disrespect for sex workers. Is this just code that you're a sex worker? Because if that's the case, you should probably be a little more upfront about that. Don't grasp the concept that this country is on stolen land and Black Lives Matter. Um, challenge for Miss Amber, good luck finding any country that isn't on stolen land. That's kind of how countries came to be, like all of them. <laughs> but you know, don't let history get in the way of your annoying contender bio. These are pretty much all women I'm noticing, at least I think, I assume they were born women. It's like 2022, you have to look out for women that wasn't even born women. You have to look for these lived out freaks. Like it's just, oof. Alicia, 27, she, they, barista, says, hello, I'm a baby queer. No. And partnered baby Polly, dating separately. Bitch, you're a baby? Stop. Is that what that means? Hoping to make friends and explore my queerness. That just sounds gross. I'm a witchy, crafty mama to a little fella. That kid ain't got a chance. <laughs> this kid is starting with every disadvantage in the world that this is their mother, just saying. Vaccinated and anti-capitalist, gay flag. Again, it's like, this is like, they don't have personalities. Like, do you have a job? Do you go to school? Scorpio rising, Sagittarius sun. See, that's the other thing is it would be a no-go for me if someone had their astrological sign in their dating profile. It's like, girl, everyone always wants to blame all their behavior on their sign. It's like, I don't care if you're an asparagus, just don't be a bitch. Maya, 21, says, hello, I'm by an ace demi. What? No Trump supporters. Honestly, I'm just looking for platonic cuddles. Are women deluded enough to think you can go on a dating app and ask for platonic cuddles and think that that's all the man is going to expect? Like. Who told the women you can bring a man into your bed or go into their bed or cuddle and it's like there's no expectation of anything else? It's like, um, I don't know what ace or dummy means. Like looking at this sh makes me feel old. And there is a two in front of my age for only one more year, but there's a two. So I know I'm not that old. And it's like, I don't understand like demi, demi. Oh my God, it's like I say demi three times and then the b pops up like Bloody Mary. Like a skyscraper. So Kawaii, which, is that your real name, girl? Because if it's not, I'm gonna have to hit the culture appropriation alarm on you. Breaking your own rule. Abrosexual, what the fuck does that, oh, she said, it means my sexuality is fluid. Then just say that. Why do people have such a hard time just saying bisexual? Like if your sexuality is fluid, that means you like more than one gender, which means you're bisexual. Is bisexual just like not cool enough anymore? I don't understand. Leftist, open-minded, Hufflepuff, girl. They always got the fucking Hogwarts house in their shit. It's like, what? Harry Potter was a fundamental part of my development as a person, but I hate what JK Rowling has turned into. So still deciding what to do about that. See, this is what happens when you're so open-minded that your brain falls out, Miss Kawaii, because if you just have this nuanced understanding of life to where you can identify as abrosexual and just make some shit up out of thin air, but you're not nuanced enough to understand that JK Rowling has like a belief in biological sex without hating anyone, like, I don't know. Neuroatypical Diz nerd. Oh, she's a Disney fan. I'm sorry, I fuck with Disney. Not so much anymore, because they've done some weird stuff. Like they're pushing like child transition surgeries on their network, which is like, what the f are you doing? There's something about like adults, like 30 year olds, like Miss Kawaii that are just like all about Disney, always at Disneyland, always watching Disney movies, dressing up as a princess. It's like, that is one step above a fairy in my mind. Chronic illness sufferer, SJW. You admit to being an SJW, that's new. Polyflexible. What does this mean? Like these people invented their own language and they like hate people who don't understand their language or like conform to it. And here come all the poly people, I'm sure commenting that I'm like a bad person for not understanding it. I don't have the confidence to understand that everyone's gonna get it. If, like if I was poly, I would not expect other people who are monogamy minded to understand it. And I would not get pissed off at them not understanding it. So this person says queer poet, writer, artist, actual meme oppression and chill. What's that mean? Survivor of internet fame and infamy, is this person famous? PTSD and bipolar, run if you have to, or stay and be amazed. 
they, them, go glitter yourself, hashtag winning, T got DX, and take all my pills on time, chronic pain, spoony life, human rights worker, let's go for a walk, polyamorous and engaged, and really into relationship anarchy, chaos magican, reality hacker, pagan, stereotypical SJW, probably. Yeah, you think? I mean, honestly, you're not the stereotypical SJW. I feel like the stereotypical SJW is just gonna be in here writing like, don't swipe right if you're racist. It's like you're collecting as many nonsensical words as possible and constructing like an alternate reality. I've never felt more disconnected from like a huge segment of the population until reading this. I really underestimate how rarely I ever interact with these types of people in real life. It's actually almost never. And it's like, they have their own language. And I'm sorry, why are they all mentally ill? Speculate on that in the comments. Not even making fun of them. They literally all have mentally ill in their bios. So Joy is in a lesbian section is what you need to know. And uh, I'm blurring out faces on this because I do feel like it's a little unfair to show their faces. You know, I know that Tinder and dating apps are still like public, but it's also like, I don't know, it's not like Twitter or Instagram, like they're there to date. But I, so I feel a little bad showing their face. But I, what I will say is this is not a woman or even a trans woman. This is just a dude in the lesbian section. I'm sorry. It, it is what it is. Queer, demisexual, trans, feminine. I'm like literally too sober for this. Maria says pronouns bun, bun self. Allosexual, true cute. What the f is that? I got, I'm Googling true crew. True, true, I can't even say it. These people are crazy. Define true cute. A slur used by trans medicalists to call any non dysphoric transgender person to imply they aren't real trans people. Yeah, you, that's you, that's you. You are that slur, period, I'll say it. If your pronouns are bun and bunts off, you ain't trans, I don't care. Flower crown advocate, uwu, triggers, scopophobia, self-harm, Donald Trump, cultural appropriation. If you aren't a vegan, delete yourself. People really need help. Like our country's going through it. So here's another one in the lesbian section. They have listed themselves as a woman. There is not one small aspect of this person's presentation that is a woman. Like, honestly, I feel like lesbians get the real short end of the stick when it comes to woke ideology. It's like, this is what the result is for them. It's like whole entire men up in the lesbian section and they're just allowed to be. I'm a writer, big heart, sexually fluid. I love the weirdness in people. Um, wrong section, babe, I'm sorry. Like, it's not, it's not giving lesbian. It's not giving anything. You know, I haven't had many lesbian friends in my life, but the ones that I have, every single one of them without fail have talked about this trope that very much is real and has happened to them where men try to like get with them to like cure them of their lesbianism or like force themselves onto them and be like, you know, you just have never had the right man. You're not really a lesbian, whatever. And it's like woke ideology literally permits that. Like this is straight up a man in the lesbian section. Honestly, low key, it's like, Shout out to lesbians, because no wonder y'all are the ones that are speaking out the most about this because look what they're doing to you. <laughs> Next, Kelly says, I'm sentient trash. I mean, you said it, not me, girl. Definitely wasn't thinking it. Non-binary femme queer. I'm not a woman and don't call me one. But this is a woman. I like lots of other stuff, bedroom pop, cartoons, food, puppies, aliens, you name it. You know, you should have opened with that. So I'm gonna fix your dating profile, Kelly. You're gonna open with that, that you like cartoons and food and puppies and aliens, and you're gonna cut out all the bullshit. Just cut out the nonsensical, mentally ill ramblings, like, just talk about shit like. So this is one, a lovely woman in a communist dress, taking a photo with a fucking iPhone. Oh my God, I just hate capitalism. You look stupid. I officially feel so bad for men <laughs> and lesbians and myself for subjecting myself to these people. That is it for this video, you guys. Make sure you subscribe to this channel as well as my podcast channel. I'm loving 
the podcast channel. You guys have to subscribe there if you haven't. It's basically like a long form main channel video. They're all an hour long and it's just me talking and rambling and it's completely unedited. Like you see the way that there are so many edits in this video. Well, the podcast is the opposite. There's no edits beyond like advertisements going in. It's just me rambling for an hour. So if you want to hear my loud mouth, about like anything and everything, then subscribe to that channel. I'll put a link in the description. And I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.